Hi, I'm Sue O'Dell, Madison's mom. And I'm Maddie. A typical patient day, I mean, you wake up 6.30, 7 o'clock, depending on whether or not you want to shower or not. Um, there are two bathrooms on the unit, well, with showers, so if there are multiple girls who are staying overnight, you kind of have to share and you get, get your little time slot. Um, but when you wake up, the nurse comes into your room and takes your vitals, and then you do weight and stuff. Um, but after that, you're free to kind of do what you please until it's breakfast time. So shower, get ready, get changed. Sometimes we would watch TV in the morning, um, just depending on how long we had. Um, and then food gets delivered, and so we all go to breakfast. I think it's around like 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, we all sit down to breakfast, eat our breakfast, and then um, we head into like the main like room where there's like this giant table and it's really colorful. There's like huge windows and you kind of, all the patients kind of sit around um, the table and we go through like our morning routine. So it's like a lot of checking in, how things went over the night. Um, we have this big workbook or packet that we get to go through and we work on that during the morning time. Um, and then after that, we usually do some kind of like a walk so walk around the hospital, go on a walk outside. Um, if you're cleared physically to do that, um, you get to go outside and kind of hang out for a little bit. It's like 10 minutes, but you get to get off the unit. It's, it's really nice. And then you come back, and a lot of the other patients who don't spend the night come onto the unit. And so you have snack time, and um, you have your first snack of the day. And then we usually go into like a group therapy session or an individual therapy session. So. You meet with your own personal um, psychologist or you're meeting with um, different counselors and are going through like a nutritional work book or you're working on different things. It depends on the day. Um, so we do that and then you go to lunch and so you go to the cafeteria and eat some more. <laughs> There's a lot of <laughs> eating involved on the EDU. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then you split up into another group. It could be... Um, you could have like a family therapy session or it really depends on the patient um, and sometimes once a day we get to go to the Ponzio Creative Arts Therapy Program and so that'll be like art therapy, music therapy, like movement and dance or like yoga therapy and so we have one of those a day um, and it can be in the morning or the afternoon but usually it's in the afternoon and so we'll go to that which is just downstairs from the unit um, and then after that you come back and some of the parents are in their own class and so they get out of their class and you might have like a family group therapy session where you do like each family gets together and they make an art project to how they would describe their family or you do like a painting or you toss it around and you talk about different things it depends on what again what day it is and what you're doing and um, after that the parents leave and they go down to the main hospital cafeteria um, and with something different that not a lot of people know about the EDU is it's in a different building than the main hospital, um, but they're all connected up from underground tunnels so you can get to each building um, pretty easily. So the parents go down to the main cafeteria for dinner and then the patients kind of stay and wait around, get some small things done, and then we head down to the cafeteria as well. And so at dinner time, you can eat um, your meal with your family and kind of hang out and chat. And um, after that, some of the patients leave to go home if they're not spending the night and then the rest of the patients come back up to the unit um, where they can kind of hang out with their family. And we used to watch movies and chill out in my room a bunch of time. And then parents leave and you have another snack. Um, and then um, just to kind of be by yourself for a little while and then it's bedtime. 